Hi, I'm Adam with the Drum Center of Portsmouth, the largest independently owned drum store in the world. All of the drums and cymbals that you see in today's video are available for purchase, and I will put the links to buy them in the video description below. We're gonna switch things up a little bit today and focus on some beginner level snare drums. These are snare drums that we would recommend to anybody just getting into the drums, or if you're somebody like me and you have champagne taste, but a Kool-Aid budget. Before we get started, it's important to note that what makes these snare drums so affordable is what they're made of and how they're made. All of these snare drums come with very lightweight hardware, perhaps lesser grade shell materials, imported stock heads, and they are manufactured in an exotic land overseas and require less physical labor to produce than some of our higher end snare drums that we carry. With all of that said, you can get a pretty good sound out of these snare drums as you're about to hear. Doing so requires just three simple steps. Step one, remove the stock batter head and throw it in the nearest trash can. Replace that head with a new premium head like this attack logic dot. We'd also recommend replacing the snare side head as well with something like a Remo Hazy, but you can get away with just replacing the batter head. Step two, tune the drum properly. Step three, make sure the snare drum wires have proper equally distributed tension across the center of the drum. A lot of times with these less expensive snare drums, the wires will require some finessing right out of the box. The last and most important difference to note between these entry level snare drums and higher end snare drums is that while you can achieve a great sound from these less expensive snare drums, they generally require a little more effort to get them in tune and to keep them in tune. If you're a heavier hitter and you're bombing on these snare drums with consistent rim shots, this lighter weight hardware isn't going to hold up as well as drums with more substantial hardware that might cost a little bit more. At the end of the day, you do get what you pay for. With all of that out of the way, let's get into these snare drums. First one is this 14 by eight Tama Woodworks. The snare drum shell is made of eight ply poplar, which is a less dense wood that is found in a lot of less expensive snare drums. It has eight lightweight lugs and some very light flanged hoops and everything is matte black, which is a nice touch. And the throw off is a very simple lightweight design. The Ludwig Superlight. This is a 14 by five and a half, one millimeter beaded steel shell. It's got eight chrome plated brass tube lugs, 2.3 millimeter steel triple flanged hoops, which are pretty substantial for a snare drum of this price. It's got the P88i throw off, which is pretty good, and 20 strand brass coil snare wires. In my opinion, it's Usually a good investment if you're gonna spend less money to go with a steel snare drum. They just generally sound really good to me, uh, no matter what the brand is. And as long as you tune them up right, you're gonna get great projection. Great drums.
we're talking about value, it's very hard to do any better than our next snare drum, which is the Yamaha Stage Custom. This is a 14 by five and a half all burnt shell in a deep blue burst finish. It has 10 lugs, so you get that extra control over tuning. It's got a very functional throw off, solid triple flanged hoops. And at the time of recording this video, the snare drum costs like, I think $125. So like I say, it's an absolute no brainer. If you're looking for a wood snare drum, you can't go wrong with the Stage Custom. The Mapex MPX 14 by six and a half is an easy one to recommend for anybody on a budget. This is one of our least expensive snare drums on the list and it probably has the most impressive features. The shell is a maple poplar hybrid shell. It has 20 lugs, which is pretty nice because you're gonna get a little more control over your tuning. And it has the armory style throw off, which isn't too bad for a drum in this price range. Hey everyone, future Adam here. This next snare drum that we're about to demonstrate right before I got a chance to shoot some B-roll of it, it sold. So I'm gonna have to use some stock images instead. It is what it is, enjoy. The PDP Concept Chrome Over Steel snare drum. It has a one millimeter dual beaded steel shell. It has a nice mirror finish to it. It also has 10 dual turret style lugs and in combination with the true pitch tension rods, which have more threads on them, you're gonna have probably the best tuning control out of any of these snare drums. And it has the mag throw off, which is probably the best throw off in this group.
Next up, we have the Pearl Export Series snare drum. If we're talking about affordable entry-level snare drums, have to include the Pearl Export Series. The finish on this snare drum is a mirror chrome wrap, so it is in fact a wooden snare drum with a metallic wrap on it. The shell is made of poplar and mahogany, so two softer, less expensive woods. It has only eight lugs, and it has a decent enough lightweight throw-off and some decent snare wires as well. This last air drum, uh, we just kind of decided to throw in here as a meme. It was the most affordable snare drum in our used section, and it is the Percussion Plus steel snare drum. The snare drum has what appears to be a one millimeter steel shell. It has six lugs. It has some nice vintage patina going on. It's got some cobwebs, and the throw off is not in the right spot. It's up front to the right. Kind of works. And that's about, oh, oh. It also comes with an internal muffler. That's a pretty good feature. Yep, there's a dead spider in there. going to do it for this video. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Which was your favorite snare drum? Which one sounded the best to you? Which one did you like the least? We always like to hear your feedback. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's a great way to stay informed on all things drums and an easy way to support our independently owned drum shop. From all of us here at the shop, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you found it somewhat entertaining and informative. And as always, we thank you for your support.